bam, bam, ba, down. Theme song. Welcome back to Solid Content and welcome back to Our Lady of Solids. The first thing we're doing in this episode is moving the gift shop over. I didn't think I needed to, you know, show you too much of that. Uh, we'll just get it done quickly because it was a pretty quick build and who wants to see the gift shop? No. We are after the trauma place, the emergency hospitalization opening today, so that's the plan. Uh, but first, what I wanted to do was make a nice, big, open, modern-feeling um, hospital entrance, as opposed to a small, tiny reception area. I feel like when you come to a hospital, like a downtown hospital, sometimes you walk in and there's like a big atrium. Uh, and then, of course, we've got our lines, so you kind of know where to go, and a little umbrella stand just for good measure. And so another day dawns at Our Lady of Solids. Now with that finished uh, reception area, which I love. I love this. I love how this turned out. It's a little blocky, maybe. Like um, I'd love to be able to make one curved desk or something like a nice, like an oval or something. I think I've seen that in some hospitals. I'm not sure. I don't know, I don't go to hospitals too much. Although I would like to go to a hospital uh, soon because I burned the top of my head. As you can see, the gamble has paid off uh, with the with the uh, surgery wing, general surgery. Uh, it's just like printing money now. I mean, not printing uh, money per se, but it does okay. Uh, if we look at our sort of finances here, you can see it's kind of like, oh, actually, you know what? It looks like it's dipping a little further into the red every time. It looks like something, there's a trend here, a trend towards bad stuff. Uh, so I think the next step is going to be opening trauma in this area. That's what's going to happen today. So this hospital is officially going to have hospitalization at... It, oh, we don't have that. We're going to have hospitalization at emergency. We're not going to have intensive care. That's going to be next. We're going to have to... I don't know if we can get to that today. But I think that what's going to happen is hospi hospitals, hospital trucks. You know what I'm talking about, hospital trucks. They're going to pull up here. And drop off their, uh, you know, customers, uh, trauma customers, which is what I'm going to be calling them now. And they're going to come in through these doors here. And then I'm thinking like, uh, tra like they need to get dealt with right here. And then um, observation rooms and nurses here. And then let's say they collapse, like the things are going bad. They're going from here to here, or maybe they're here and they collapse. Boom. Here's our, here's our elevators. And we're going to go up to the second floor. And then the ICU could be like this whole chunk here, maybe. I can't wait to get to the second floor of this hospital. Um, so I think the first thing we're going to need to do is like, let's just let's get some like walls and floors in here and figure out what we're going to do as far as, you know, the, the layout. And then we're going to like staff it up. I think first of all, we don't need, uh, we need like to make a hallway area in here. And we also need to think about, um, Okay, what are we going to do with this space? Let's have our on-call room, which I believe... If we go into management mode... Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, don't worry. I'm back. I'm back. Solid's back, baby. He's got a plan. So this needs to be at least four by four. We can make a tiny one, but I kind of want to make a big one. Uh, da -da 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 -da, like eight. Eight by six? Yeah, I mean... Or... or uh, hang on. How much room do I need for the trauma center? That's the real question. So let's go, let's use up some of this space, actually. Let's let's try to ignore this wall here, on-call room. Let's go, like, let's go here-ish. Um, and then let's, and then we can have our trauma center, which needs to be at least four by four. So I guess you make a small one? I don't want to do that. I'm going to go, like, uh, like, like a beast. There's a lot of room there. And then, uh... The nurse's station could just be all of this space here. Uh, <laughs> um, is that is that good nurse station? Okay, and then um, I'm gonna do the same thing that I did over here. I want the nurse's station to actually be uh, wall, like not have any walls. I want them to look over at the uh, trauma area, and to do or the observation room, I guess. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now I've seen some other videos. I had to clear my throat there. I apologize. I had to clear my throat. I've seen some other videos where. They actually make very large rooms, so we're gonna do the same. Uh, maybe not all the way the same. Let's go, okay, let's just do it. I don't know, is that? What are we missing though, if we do this? 
this hallway is very silly. But again, like this is going to be a fake hallway because we're going to see the observation room across from the nurse's station. Uh, but maybe we still need doors here. So let's put this wall back up. Let's put this wall like so. Something like this. And then, you know, it's important that you just wing it sometimes. <laughs> but I was basing this off of the look of some of the other rooms, you know. Uh, we could also, I think we need, we're going to need some more. This is the thing that I always overlook, which is the washrooms. We've got these washrooms here, and we have one, a single cell, single cell? You know what I mean, single stall washrooms over here. So I need to, like, scratch out a bit of space. I've already done a little bit of work here, turning this into the common room. This was to make, because I needed to know how much room I needed for my gift shop. So I've got a common room here, a storage closet, and a staff bathroom for the, you know, for all the staffs in this area. This this hallway is massive. This is almost too big for a hallway, but I think it's just, it is what it is right now. Um, So I think what we could do is cut out some of this space a little bit. Like, I, we need a washroom in this area. Um, so uh, maybe uh, something like, what do we have here? Seven. Can we build a big... Okay, what about this? What if this... How long, okay, let's, let's think here. How big are these washrooms? We need at least two for this, you know, the stall to make sense and be comfortable. So we could get a bunch of stalls right here. But, okay, let's do one more. Let's do one more like this. And then, this is going to leave a little little tiny section, but I think I have an idea for what I can do there. Because I've seen some other videos. Again, 75% rad. Plastic swans. Amazing uh, YouTubers at this kind of stuff. And I've seen what they do, and it's like, we need like a little space for like the, um, like a desk and some supplies and stuff. So we can do that here, and then have, for instance, how many... So if we go one, two, three, four... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, we gotta be careful because this is kind of enough for three beds, I think. I'm not 100%. And then we need this to be a corridor, of course. Of course, a door. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, wait a minute. Didn't uh, Solid Content earlier just say that he wanted to go to the hospital because he burned the top of his head? Well, it's a sunburn, folks. And here's the thing. <laughs> This is my first uh, summer uh, as a baldsman. And, um, and, well, actually, if you ask my friends, this isn't my first summer as a balding person. But <laughs> if you ask me, uh, who only recently discovered it, uh, and then you know had to spend a bit of time getting over it, and have now become okay with it, kind of. <laughs> well, um, I don't know how to do it. I guess I have to wear hats all the time, but I don't really want to. At any rate, um, I need to, I need to like be wearing sunscreen at all times now, because apparently it is very easy to burn the top of an exposed head, which nobody told me about. All that to say, I'd like to go to a a, 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 a hospital and and get my head fixed. It's not bad. Don't get me wrong. It's not bad. It's okay. Okay. So here's our general layout. Now. I think we need to start with the big boy. We need to start with this one. We have a lot of money, a lot of degloons here, a lot of hospital degloons, but it's gonna go fast. And I, I want my patients to be the most cared for patients you've ever seen in your life. Now what we could do is, what do we need here? Square table, equipment table. So it looks like, and if we look at some of the prefabs, which I know it's kind of a faux pas, or at least for me it is. I just kind of want it to be a faux pas. You're going to have... This is the same thing that everyone's been designing. A little room. So they want to have, like, a little equipment room or something. Oh, we should definitely put... We should definitely have beds... Oh, it almost fits. Oh, so tempted. So tempted. Okay, but here's what it, this is showing me. That we should definitely have... Maybe we have the uh, nurse's station open concept. But we could actually get more beds in here if we wall it off. So we're going to do just that. And then, but this is, I still want this to be open concept just because I think I like that look. Uh, okay, but we're not, do, we're not going with the prefabs. What we are going to go with is some modern hospital beds. And that's going to be like here. I might take these side walls down. I don't know. I don't hate them. Is that about right? Yeah. Okay. And then if I flip it around, actually, you know what I should do? This is going to go faster. Hang on. 
Okay, we know that kind of fits, all right? But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look, we're gonna build this space here. A life monitor, that's gotta go right there. And a, uh, uh, what else does this bed need? Didn't it need other stuff? Oh, a bedside cabinet, of course, of course. And doesn't it, I, don't the hospital beds have like, um, yeah, a bed socket, there we go. It just makes sense. You, you kind of want a bit, operating room lights. Would we even, would, do we need that in here? It seems like a, like a maybe, like a maybe you want it. I think we should have it. Uh, uh, weird, weird placement. Okay, I think it, I think we should have these medical lights. I think we're gonna go bl with the blue. Uh, or do we want our whole, cause this area is blue. So let's go with red. Red kind of gives us the ICU vibe. Like, ah, here we, you gotta, you gotta save these people. We gotta save these people. Dark red for that. And then uh, we'll change this to a light red. There we go. Okay, this is our ICU bed look. I, I I don't mind it. And again, I keep saying ICU, but that is not the case. It's not ICU. So now let's see if we can copy that prefab uh, prefab manager. Where was it? It's over here somewhere. Move a room or save a prefab or copy create a prefab. Okay, I'm just gonna go like. Hey <laughs> Whoa. Hey. <laughs> Okay, it's creating a bit of wall chaos. That's okay. What we're going to do is we're going to come back in here, and we're going to get rid of these walls. Uh, I think some privacy wall is a good idea. Maybe... Uh, it looks a little silly, though, doesn't it? Let's go with our red stripes, like we have the motif out here. Uh, or do we do, like, a red center stripe? I don't know, just because it's like, all right, now you're in the room where the stuff is needed. Welcome. Okay, uh, let's get rid of this wall section here. Uh, or we make it, we do more of a wall section. All right, and then we go like this. And we could have some glass windows, some glass doors here. Double glass doors. Okay, and then this is going to be kind of our... This is a kind of a classy looking office. I like that. I think I saw, I think I'm just kind of copying what I saw in some prefabs, but again, uh, this is really tight quarters. So I don't know if this is actually a, a good idea, but let's keep, let's keep on keeping on. So they want like a mobile equipment cabinet in here. They want lots of stuff. And I think we need to get rid of this stuff here so we can have like a doorway area. Now what if this wall was non-existent? What if these walls were gone? Hear me out. So we have this kind of situation here. And this is, let's just do, I just want to see what it looks like if it's all glass for a bit. This is a very modern hospital. This is like a hospital you'd see like a doctor house come in and be like, it's, it's lupus. He says stuff like that. Sort of a, it's a lupus kind of situation. All right, let's get a defrib in here. Some disinfectant. Can we put it on the... No, we can't. Okay, so that, that's the only problem with doing all these glass walls. Uh, is that you're going to get... You're going to find you get a lot of, like... So let's bring these walls back. Whoops. Let's bring these walls back so we can put stuff on them. Because I think that's going to be helpful. I think that's going to be more helpful than this, this current plan of, like... Flopping around with these glass walls. <laughs> You know what we could do is, I can't wait to use this metal. I want to find out where these aluminum panels are going to go. Uh, I controlled Z, by the way. I just found out that that's a thing. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if control Z was a thing or not, but uh, apparently it is. So what we could do here is we could give it an equipment table, like right here. We could get some equipment on there, like our CPR scan. Um, now we've got our defrib here, which you kind of need everywhere. Like, you kind of need a bunch of them, but at the same time, like, you know, here we are. It definitely needs a biohazard bin. So we'll put that here. Nice big entrance into our ward. So that's good. Maybe some like privacy, privacy screens like here. Oh, that's a bit much. Where was the, ah, uh, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, this stuff. Uh, maybe we could put it in, oh, it's kind of tough to place it all. I mean, obviously that's, is that the challenge of this game? <laughs> We could also consider getting rid of the wall entirely. 
and have it more i mean i think traditionally have you ever been into into a hospital that has just like sticky outy walls no they kind of have they got screens it's, it's a bit more movable in case you need to like improvise and like okay let's have it red there we go this looks a little more hospitally this looks a little more just like if you guys could could you give me some privacy now the unfortunately these people don't get privacy oh wait no that looks nice let's move this we can't let's move this whole structure over yes yes and then privacy screen there we are so now when i go uh to the hospital for my multiple burns on my on the top of my head <laughs> it's got a mobile workstation in here very cool uh, now when I go to this hospital, I'm gonna, it's going to be kind of nice. I'm going to be like, oh, I kind of I like the layout in here. All right, now what else do we need in here? They're going to want a whiteboard, so let's give them a whiteboard um, so they can go over the cases. And I'm told that it helps speed up the, like, the solve rate or something. It helps speed up their work. I think we need another mobile workstation in here because it looks like we need... Oh, no, wait, let's get some, some square tablas in here. Uh, we could have them like one, two, and three. And then let's put some scrubs shelf walls. Again, I don't know if you 100% need that because the nurse's station will have some of that stuff. Oh, maybe I want this instead, though. Look at that, though. Okay, let's do this. We're gonna, oop. We're gonna get rid of <laughs> these tables. And uh, I kind of want that. I kind of want this um, a lab sink here. And I kind of want the uh, stainless steel cabinets. And again, here's the thing. We are... This hospital is stinking rich. Let's get an equipment cabinet above the... Uh, Wall-mounted one. There. All right. I think that looks pretty good. Um, and an audio meter. So let's put that there. And uh, now I did see in the prefab... I don't think it's needed. I don't think it's needed, but I did see like a desk situation. Oh, we haven't even done floor in here. That's all right. So let's get them a desk. Let's get them like a, just like a little, like a simple desk over here in the corner. And then of course an office chair. Again, I'm not really sure. It looks cool, I guess. It looks great to have, and we are uh, stinking rich in this hospital. <laughs> uh, where's the Where's the computers? Audio meter, defibrillator, good, great, okay, we're happy. Oh, a warming cabinet. Let's get a warming cabinet in here. Why? I don't know. But it just seems like if I was a hospital, I would want a warming cabinet. Um, and uh, I'm still not seeing like where uh, where computers went. Here, I'll click on this. There we go. That'll just make it easier to find a computer here. And like, let's get some files or something on there. That's gonna look great. Look all cluttered. Because if there's one thing you want your hospital to be, it's cluttered. Okay, do we have everything in here? I think we did it. Emergency room. It looks like nothing is lit up. It looks like our award. Oh, that, yeah, that looks awesome. I'm happy with this room. Amazing. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking we do the same red bar thing here, right? So it's like you come in and uh, it's triage time. So maybe you come in here and obviously you're going to want to go... Uh, here first, and then maybe we th and maybe things thin out. Can I do this? No, nope, that's silly. So you're gonna want to go, yeah, 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 and then you go into here. Let's go one over, and just makes our lives easier. Bang! So it's just easy to tell where things are this way. There we go. That feels good. And now that kind of begs for this sort of situation. And I think we could. I've seen some other uh, room designs that are really nice, that where you can kind of have some like borders or maybe like even like a wood trim around it or something like that. I think that's definitely something to play with uh, in a little bit. Now, why don't we have general surgery, just like a blue line here. Just, it's, it's less, we don't care as much. We're not as like, oh, we need it. Oh, I think we should also have this. Something like this here and a uh, red line here. And then this blue line can just come here. This is what you come to this channel for. You're like, I, I, uh, how's he gonna, do, how's he gonna do his floor layouts? Well, here's how. Do we want washroom lines? Like, maybe because sometimes patients are like, I, I need to pee. I need to pee so bad. That looks dumb. 
That looks dumb, so no is the answer. We'll we'll deal with that later. Uh, let's get some washroom doors in, of course. So we got a big washroom. I guess that's like for the ladies. So, uh, with, although there's no stand-up urinals, I've noticed in this uh, in this game. You don't make you you, you just make kind of make one washroom, and I think actually I think that you can also just make one washroom. Okay, there we go. Now, what if we had a stripe around here just to be like, just to give you a sense of where you are? Kind of matches the wall a bit. We could see if we like that. And if not, we can, uh, you know, change it. Worst case scenario, if we don't like it, we can just uninstall the game. We can uninstall the game and I can sell this computer uh, to the lowest bidder. So there's always that opportunity. I think for now, let's just make the nurse's station have some floor here. Now, this is the trauma room, so I think it's got to have, like, a tile floor. And then this is the doctor's hangout area. And I'm not saying I'm like, oh, the doctors deserve this. But, like, let's give them a nice floor. Some parquet. Some parquet. And I notice there's no carpet in the game. Um, I feel like that's the right choice. <laughs> okay, maybe the uh, doctors could have a door into... I think we got to do this room now. I think that's what... No, no, no. Let's get our nurses done. Come on. Let's focus. Now, we could do a series of desks, or glass desks, or we could do the same, uh, this kind of thing. How do we feel? I'm going to turn the camera around and take a look. So how does that feel? I kind of like that. I really do. I like the desk vibe. Uh, the corner pieces are a bit weird. I think I'm all turned around. Okay, here we go. The corner pieces are a bit weird, so maybe we'll do something a little different than that. Uh, maybe just like one piece of desk. They really don't want me to use the desks, or the, the counter. The advice counter? Uh, what do we got here? What are our color options? Very colorful. Kind of a nice shape. As opposed to the info ones, which are really simple. Why don't we go with this? Just for fun. Oh, I see. Because I can't have it just say nothing. It's going to have to have some writing on it. All right, we'll do the information style desk one. And I'm going to go with the red. I'm going to go with the soft red here. And then I kind of want... Here's the thing. You know how it... you know when you walk into a hospital and it's kind of... Actually, this might not be optimized if I do it this close. Can I control Z that? Yes. <laughs> oh, only the last one. <laughs> okay. So never mind. Uh, but I was kind of thinking, like, you know, you walk in and you see the corner of the de of the, the of the reception thing. But let's just do it like this and get the other the le the right desk piece in like this, and then we'll get a couple of chairs here and uh, probably some like nice ones. How many nurses do I need in here? Oh, it's not even going to tell me. It's not even going to tell me how many I need until it. Uh, until I'm done. It's like, we'll reward you with that information when you're done. But I bet if we had four, that's like eight. So there's, you know, four in the day, four at night. Like, that's pretty good. If not, we can come back in here. We can fix it right up. Um, let's have a, an equipment cabinet, of course. Probably like a couple of those. And uh, I think we're going to need, like, scrubs. Scrubses. So we can have that and that here. Why don't we have, like, a counter in the back with, like, a sink? Or we could do like a, a lab sink. I wish that fit in more with some with some furniture. Since this is a, yeah, let's do this. Here we go. We're just gonna have a, like a cabinet, a row of cabinets here and a sink in there. Maybe they need two sinks. I should have kept one of those. I'm an idiot. Here we go. Let's get two sinks in here because again, Let's, let's get rid of that because, we're, you know, let's use our space, you know, effectively here. We could do, we could have cabinet, equipment cabinets on either side. We could have, uh, uh, we could have um, scrubs shelf wall here. A lot of them. There we go. That kind of looks nice. Now we should probably make it, uh, you know, Line it up with the tables at least. So how many? One, two, three, four, five. Out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Interesting. Okay. So we could do like this. There we go. Why does it flip it around when I grab it? Why are you doing that? 
and then grab this. Oh, I got what? I gotta move everything one at a time here. Okay, <laughs> move that first. Apparently, we move the sinks first, and then I can. Oh, for heaven's sake! <laughs> then I can place this guy under there. There we go. This is finally making sense here now. One uh, that lines up here, I think. Yes, but this one lines up there. Okay, yeah. So it doesn't look symmetrical, but it kind of is. It looks sort of symmetrical. Okay, uh, now, of course, they need a bunch of PCs. Now, do they get fancy ones? Again, we are rich. Uh, I kind I of... I like the laptop look. Uh, they are expensive. Here's the thing about the laptops. No, the laptops look too... Like, these need to look like they're set in stone. Like, this is like... This is a nurse's station. But let's at least modernize it a bit. So they look like that. And... Uh, Oh, yeah, we need, like, a meal tray, of course. Let's put one there. And this whole area needs to get decked out. This is a this is actually, like, quite a large, you know, nurse's area. Although things, yeah, things start to take up space after a while. So we'll get, like, a couple of stretchers here. Maybe another one over in the corner. Um, <laughs> why is this so much brick wall? <laughs> All right. Bring that up. Get out of here. Get out of here, brick wall. There we go. That feels better. Okay, this is starting to look good. Okay, uh, maybe they get a, a parquet flooring as well. Because again, um, and I think some of the commenters have even mentioned this, like we don't want the um, the nurse's station in this whole area to look like garbage. We don't want them... This They have to work here all the time. I have a dining table. Uh, I kind of want to put a table here and get a TV on it. Uh, a square table and a TV. This just, to me, feels like they're going to put a TV on in the background. I don't know. Is that, like, rude? I, I'm not saying that nurses don't do anything. I'm not saying, like, you know, but I'm just saying that they live their lives. They, like, they live... They, they're here every day. What do you want from me? They're going to need something to, like, relax with. Okay, where did that table go? I want another one of those tables. I'm gonna have to get better. Something here. Here's how you become a pro at a game. You start to uh, instinctively know where stuff is gonna be. All right, let's get a uh, a little listening uh, machine over there. So and so, I have not. I have obviously not developed that yet. Um, but you'll notice that I have downloaded some new items. You'll see them mostly here. So I think, like, you know, this kind of stuff that I love seeing. So we've got, like, a fire thing, and if we put, like, a pull station right here, that was all stuff that I downloaded. So if you go into the workshop and look for, I think it's called Decorations Pack, then you can get stuff like this, which doesn't make sense, but maybe we'll use it in another room, you know? All right, this is looking good. Let's get some files on here. Oh, we can't. They don't fit on that. All right, fine. You can have a cactus. <laughs> Kind of like this lamp. Let's get that lamp on there. And a mug. Oh, no mugs on there. You can put mugs on those tables, probably. Okay, okay. No mugs. That's fine. We got a table lamp on there, then. I don't know. There's a lot of lamps going on. But, uh, you know, they're nurses. I, they have to have stuff that they want. I, I'm trying to make them happy. You see? Now, that's a glass wall, so we don't want that, but we can put a wall. Uh, da, da, da. Where's the ones with the blinds? Here it is, tall window. Let's just get like a. For now, we'll see what this looks like. Two off. Two. I can't put that there. Unless I move that. So let's get this window in there. So we got a couple of windows. I know it's like an emergency ICU area, but uh, that is feeling pretty good. That's feeling organized. It's feeling like, like I like the design. Um, let's just triple check that we're not missing anything. I think they should have some of this stuff. Glassware small. Uh, what's a glassware? Whoa, that's a lot. That's a lot of, la they don't need full on lab equipment, but I think they could have like a filing cabinet in here. Seems like a good idea. Maybe a warming thing. And uh, I don't think they need it. But I'm going to get a biohazard bin right here. I just feel like you'd see those a lot of the... You know, you'd see those in a lot of places. Why don't we put a plant in front of the window here? So this is a new one I downloaded. 
I quite like it. It's pretty cute. But I think I'm going to use the classic one. Just like the the, um, the art... Take a look at the art style, right? Like, it's like... They're close. The one on the right, the new one here, looks a little more pixely, maybe. Hard to tell. And there's this one here. Like, they definitely have a different... A slightly different look than the original asset for the game. But I love having stuff around. I love having the options. Now, we could get some more stuff on here, but I think we're good. We're good for our nurses. Our nurses are ready. Our ward is looking... Like it's getting a little ship shape over here. Whoa, throws the camera when I do that. I do not know what that's all about. And again, this is there's a lot of room in here, so we could potentially, you know, really mess around with what we're looking at. Um, and and put some more, I think I want to start, I want to put some more props in this area. That's kind of what I want to do. It's got to look like a bit of a cluttered hospital. Like, I, of course it needs to look like a modern and efficient and like great hospital. But at the end of the day, people are still gonna be in here using it. So it's gotta get, it's gotta look like it's getting, you know, not trashed per se, but what do we, we don't have any floor in here. Definitely not trashed, but definitely like, all right, this place means business. It's bu people are busy. Let's just give them some tile in here. I don't know. I just want it to look a little different. There we go. Bring the wall up. Rotate again. Back to sort of our original look. That's feeling good. This is feeling like a good... Man, That I, you know what? I'm happy with how this is looking so far. All right. Now I think it's time we get serious, folks. It's time to get our trauma center... Our trauma ward area going. So I'm going to go... Uh, doors... Uh, I don't want them to go out that way, actually. They're going to go in. Uh, because the thing is, you don't need to rush to get him here. If the person is injured and they get stabilized, they can come out of here slowly. And they won't bonk anybody in the hallways. But you do need to rush to get in initially. Now, I'm thinking I can get, like, three in here? I was looking at some of the designs. They've got some small ones. So what if we did... Let's see if we can build out this one here. And, uh... See what we're dealing with. What about green? Do we want to go? Uh, green's kind of dumb. <laughs> Ooh, what about? Yeah, yeah. Let's keep everything kind of uh, black in this area. I like that. An anesthesia workstation it goes right here. Yeah, this this thing's gonna look awesome. Kind of feel like I want to move it around here. There we go. Okay, well, okay. You know what? I'm thinking Crossroads Inn. That's why. I'm thinking Crossroads Inn rules because I keep trying to move everything as, as one. Um, so is this all the bed needs? Okay, well, I don't need to copy it then. I'll just... Yeah, it just needs those three things. Okay. So let's just do this. And uh, let's see. Let's see if we can get... Uh, if we can make this work. I don't know if we can get three in here. That's a lot. I don't know. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll make it work. We're going to make it work. What's a fast USG? So this is all stuff that we need in here. We need some equipment tables over in the corner, maybe. Would be good. Maybe a couple of those. But two, I don't know. I, you know, it looks a little dumb, but what are you going to do? Let's get a mobile workstation. Oh, we don't have the uh, black option. Okay, well, we'll go, we'll go with a, a blue one. Put it over in this corner. And we need, like, a scrubbing sink. Okay, so that could be in this area. Maybe we put the equipment over here. This is kind of going to be a high-traffic area. Uh, mobile equipment thing. Put that there. We could probably scatter a few. Oh, we can make it black, though. So this way, if it, if the mobile ca you know equipment thing gets taken out by somebody, like, you know, wheeled out to here, people are like, well, where does it belong? Now they know. Let's get a couple of bins here. And our fast... USG, which is, what is that? Ultrasonography equipment for emergency and ICU usage. Very cool. Okay. Let's get defibrillators like everywhere. I kind of feel like defibrillators are sort of like a thing. Oh, uh, OP digital real time uh, during minimal surgeries. Oh, I see. Okay. So you can put it directly over. Uh, and again, no uh, black color. I was really hoping to make this the same. So 
I can put this directly over a bed, except I can't. This light is too far forward. So if I put the light here, or no, wait, I put the light up there. Then I put the imagers here. Does that make sense? I'm not really sure. Okay, okay, fine. We're going to let ourselves take a look at the a prefab for a second on this trauma center. So it looks like the imaging is further back. The imaging is almost like here somehow. We could do that. Put the imaging over here. Move the prefab, the prefab, the um, defib. So the imaging just, actually that does kind of look cool. It looks a little Star Trek-y. You got your monitors there. Okay, I love that. Get out of here, prefab. We don't need you. But I do need a whiteboard because of course they're gonna find out, you know, what we're dealing with. Is this lupus? Now let's create a sort of a scrubbing area. Stainless steel. Like right up against the door maybe. And then a scrub in. Scrubbing sink. Very good. And then we can have some scrub right there and there. That looks nice. Now this area here is a little empty. So that's good though. That's good. We know we we have lots of room in here. Now with this much room on this side, maybe what I need to be doing is moving this stuff over a bit and creating some privacy for these folks. Sure. Have you gotten into a nasty accident? Yes. But do you still deserve some privacy? Of course. So I think that's... Let's see if I can get that to... Hang on. Where's the... Uh, let's go here and get this. There we go. We have brown. That's our only option as far as getting close to... Uh, okay, let's we'll go with the blue then. So maybe... Uh, Oh, it's too close to the bed if I do that, so I have to put it here. So we need this defibrillator to move there. Defibrillator, which is how you say that now. So we're kind of out of room here. This is... okay. What if I move this here for now? Yeah, I can't really place anything anywhere. <laughs> okay, so it gave me a little bit of privacy. What if I move this over here? Move this over here. Man, I can't really go anywhere. Oh, okay, that's good, that's good. There we go. Now I can get another piece of privacy in here. There, that just gives us a sense of like, okay, we're dealing with the trauma, sure, but also, you know, they get, they're allowed to have a little privacy around their heads area. <laughs> I love it. Um, I think it needs to be filled in with a couple more things just to kind of really round it out. Uh, medical things, though. Like a printer. Or sample storage, an x-ray thing, a stool, in, a thermal cycler. No, all this stuff is a little bit much, but we could definitely get some, like, glassware in here just to kind of make it look a little bit more. An autopsy scale, that's a really... Just put that right here, like, you're, pro you're probably going to die, so we're just going to start measuring your guts on the way out. Maybe uh, if they need to do an, a quick emergency eye test, we could do that. No, this feels good. This feels like we have it fairly set up. We don't want things to get too cluttered, of course. Um, so this this feels this feels good. Now, what we could do, place another stretcher here. Just kind of like put some stretchers around. Like so. See, now this hospital is starting to look very professional. I can't wait to bring in some horribly injured patients. Now, I can't it's not, I'm not saying that I can't wait for them to be horribly injured. But it's going to happen. Oh, yeah, I was going to place a door here, wasn't I? Let's call this restricted... No, let's call this door with window. Like so. And then let's put a restricted area door here, maybe? So folks can get into their on-call room. I don't think that matters. I think it's okay if people can see them a little bit. And I think that leads perfectly into the next thing which is this room. But while I'm here, I might mention, uh, in the, if you go into your management tab and you're looking at these rooms, you also see blue, red, green. And for those of you who don't know, those are your permissions, right? Free area accessible to both uh, staff and patients. Or blue, staff only area. Uh, patients must have permission slash invitation or restricted area for all patients. You just can't go in here. So for example, they can't go in here. They can't go in this area. They won't be able to go in the on-call room. 
But what if I don't want randos walking in here and using this elevator? Well, I'm gonna try this out and see if it works. Staff only area patients must have permission slash invitation. So I could do that here and here. Now that's gonna create a situation where the customers that come in this door need to be dealt with by these folks here and then they get treated in the rest of the departments and go to where they need to go but they can't just walk around into what's going to be a very large and and probably busy hallway it is very large though we could put some pillars in here to break up the space a little bit maybe and we're going to get a lot of equipment lying around in here so let's get started but first it's time for our on-call room all right, I've gone and given them a pretty basic layout here, and I gave them a couple of laptops on these far ones just to give it more of like a look like, I don't know, like these two come in on the on the weekends or something, but they're not going to. We're just going to have four full doctors here, so I'm not sure why I did that. You know, just got to make it look nice. Um, and I've seen in some other builds there's like a sofa and stuff, so I think we'll try to do that sort of look as well and give them kind of a, a vibe of like being able to come here and relax. Now, is there a coffee table somewhere? I'm sure there's one. There's like a little one somewhere. And again, <laughs> it keeps going. Oh, I see. So so they don't have tables split into, into areas. They have it split into like its uses. So this is definitely more of a decorative table. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Um, so yeah, let's, have the, let's give them like a nice coffee table here and maybe put a uh, plant on the other side. A little potted an arithmium. arithmium. And uh, maybe like a bookshelf. I think there should be like some uh, like a bookshelf in this room. Uh, you know, so they can like study up on like what's ailing their patients maybe. So this would be like doctor books. Um, something I know very little about. I don't know anything about doctor books. But then we'll put some doctor, some books over here too. So these ones maybe, uh, I'm going to just imagine that they're like a nicer, <laughs> a nicer book. And we could put a magazine display down there. That looks uh, silly. See, uh, this is these are part of the. Actually, I like this. Let's put this on the wall somewhere. These are things that I really like uh, that I got from that uh, design pack. So it's like that's a you know a a map sort of looking thing, and then this here is like a Wi-Fi router, which is like a silly thing to have. But like honestly, when you think about it, if you go into a hospital, you're like yeah, of course I would see that. Of course I would see one of those. It's got a clock on here too. They would definitely have a clock. They got to know what time it is. You know, time to go save some lives, they would say, I imagine. Just get some files on there, too, and then maybe a mug. Can I rotate it? No, it just, like, sits in the corner. Weird. Just, like, in a weird spot on the on the desk. <laughs> uh, but maybe, like, a little flower would be nice. Some flowers by the wall. I don't know. That's nice. Or by the window, rather. Uh, and then I think, of course, we'd have some, like, diplomas here to remind them that they're big, fancy doctors. Don't forget, you're a big fancy doctor. And uh, and let's get some like some music in here. That should be in decorations, I think. Uh, but apparently it is, is, it is. <laughs> I gotta find like the search tool. Is there a search tool? No, no search tool. Interesting, 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 interesting choice to not have a search tool. Uh, am I going blind? I just can't see it. Okay, well, that's fine. Listen, we're going to move on. We're going to move on because we got other stuff to do. So, for example, we definitely need to get a uh, bathroom going on in here. Um, now, how much... We could technically have really tiny stalls. These are, like, quite large stalls, and each one has its own garbage. But that's, like... Have you ever seen that? I've not. I've not. <laughs> so what if we just get like a tight quarters washroom here? Let's go with a blue. Um, oh, I see. We need to put on. We need to put the walls in first. This actually took me a little while to find. I was like, where do you put washroom doors in? And it, it was like buried in here. What, what about gray? Is that kind of a bummer? It is kind of a bummer. It's kind of a bummer. But I don't also want to go red. Red is a little bit much. Actually, you know what? It's not bad. Let's do that. Red, and then here, and then here. Maybe they need one more. They need more space to get in there, probably. So let's do... Here, hang on. If they need more space, but we're going to have tight... 
quarters. Let's do this then. Let's move. Let's move these items around so we get a bit more room. That feels better. And we'll go with the red still. Not the door. Where am I? <laughs> there we go. Now they have plenty, quote unquote, plenty of room. Wash them door, wash them door, wash them door. Okay, that feels good. And then uh, I, is that gonna be enough? I don't know, hopefully. Hopefully there's not like a lineup. We'll get a sink here. Cause now we only have one sink, but I don't know. Can't you just wait? Won't people just wait? Move that over. Uh, and we'll get a little trash bin in there. And uh, let's get a tile floor and a tile wall. Of course, because it is after all a lavatory. I'll have to go and it's weird that you kind of have to turn the whole, uh, you know, design around to finish the walls on the inside. Otherwise it'll paint the out, like it won't paint the inside of this one, it'll paint the outside. What if I hit control and do that? No, control Z. Okay, it won't do that. I thought maybe it would. Cause we're trying to get these done, you know, a little fast. You know what I mean? All right, now these are our wa emergency washrooms. So they're just gonna stay red. We're not gonna try to like, color these for certain types of people. What do I look like? A guy that's got time to do that? To make a blue guy's washroom? No, it's just all red. Because when you're here, you're red. <laughs> I don't know what that means. You should go in. That makes life a little easier for folks. And then uh, at least we can get two sinks in this one. So this is a busier, a more heavily used. Oh, no, we did a dryer. I just noticed that. Let's get a couple of mirrors up here. And a uh, hand dryer. I see. There we go. That works. And that one's going to be uh, causing a problem. So we've got one hand dryer in both of these. Yeah, they're not exactly great washrooms, but they do provide a lot of stalls. So we could <laughs> we could try to fix that. It's kind of I don't like looking at this row of doors though. Yeah, these are this is a much space a much nicer washroom. Much nicer like spaced out and there's two a sink for each toilet. So I think that's actually going to be a problem. We'll work on that later. So we've got our uh, sparse but useful room here. We can put something in the corner there. Uh and uh we need to get a common room. This is the important one here. I want to get this common room going, and I definitely wanted to find a use for this, because I don't know how often I'm going to be able to use this, like, cool-looking coat rack thing. <laughs> so I'm going to get that in our common room for, like, putting up coats. Obviously. Hello. Let's put a coffee table right there with, like, a funky lamp on it. See, now this room is looking very nice. And we've got a single-use washroom in here. Uh, in the corner like so and then let's get like a counter in there <laughs> oh i got an achievement it's me marius uh oh because um yeah i get i get what's going on here i get what we're dealing with let's give you you get a couple of sinks how about and a trash bin in here man what a wait why do you have a couple of sinks that doesn't make any sense there's only one toilet in here <laughs> and a plastic hamper just because that looks more like it's like a doctor's you know bathroom and we'll get a mirror above here and uh and a hand dryer. We do need a hand dryer. Can't forget placement of the hand dryer. That's weird that it can go over the garbage, but it can't go over the... Oh, it can go over that. Great. Well, that's great because guess what? That's where it's going. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, let's get some floor in there. Let's just change it up a bit. Small white ceramic tiles. There we go. Very nice. Now in our our lovely common room here. We just need some stuff going on. Now, does a, a sofa with a dining room table? No, that looks very stupid. Good, just, I just, I was just checking. I was just checking. But we could do a sofa in here, in this corner. And then, uh, no, let's move it over. Let's create like a little seating area. That's what I'm after here. What if I actually, wait, hang on. Let's go back to that. We do this. Come here. Something like this, and then uh, a plant in that little corner there. It might be mad at us. We can't get to it or something. No, that's perfect. Okay, great. Then a little coffee table right there. You see, now there we go. Again, I'm not even going to look for it because I'm like, I'm scared now that I'm not going to be able to find the uh, <laughs> that radio. <laughs> so I'm not even going to look for it right now. Now, this is something that I also downloaded. I quite like it. It comes with the decoration pack, but I'm not sure... 
Like, I like that sink and everything. I'm just not sure what... It's like a water drinking station, but I'm just not sure what the... You know, like, what it goes with. I guess it goes with this look. Kind of. It's not even the same wood. So I'm not sure. Like, it's nice, but I just don't know, you know, what it fits with. A fire hose! Yes! Okay, that's a little... Why is it so high? Have you ever seen a fire hose that high up? I have to reach above their head to get to the fire hose? I don't know about that. All right, so let's work on that a little bit later on. Let's keep... Uh, I think the most important thing to do right now, however, is going to be... Yeah, let's get three of those. It's going to be staffing up. I want to... I'm just eager. I, you know what? I'm just excited to get this thing going. Uh, so we've got this ready. I just kind of want to hire up. We're going to work on this. We're going to work on this after. I just got too excited. <laughs> okay, let's at least hire a couple of janitors. Let's hire two um, two daytime ones and one nighttime one. 61. Oh, that's so sad. I don't really want to hire a 60-year-old. Well, you know what? He needs a job. Paul Robinson looks really good for 60. Look at that. He's got a man bun and a goatee, and he's 61. We got to hire him because he's old and he needs a break. He needs a job. We got to help this guy out. Don't need to help her out. Jane. Sarah looks a bit bad. Oh, no, not much better. Nancy. That's who we need to hire. Nancy's... Although, Linda's really good uh, work. Uh, she could be... Okay, Nancy's great. She's going to become a manager later, so we like Nancy. All right, let's get some doctors in here. Now, I'm assuming that I need some... Like, surgery ones. Surgery ones, you heard me. Hospitalized. Oh, yeah, I guess not. Okay, good to know. So that was just in the surgery ward. Actually, you know what? That makes sense. It does make sense. Let's get a bunch of nurses here, I think. Uh, or we'll start with three and two at night. And we need at least one at night. We'll do we'll do three and, and one. Three and one. So a nursing nurse specialist would be good. Medical surgery would be good. And patient care. So let's hire Patricia Hernandez. Let's also hire... Uh, 35 and 13. Let's hire Daniel. And let's hire... Uh, what else do we... What else do we kind of need in here? It's not really telling us what we need. Missing staff required. Doctors. I'm on it. Don't worry. So let's get some, another patient care. I just like these ones that have good ratings here. But what if... What if we get an intern? Our third person is going to be an intern. And our night nurses... We better make sure our night nurse is very uh, skilled. Let's get Mary. Mary Adams, very good. Okay, I don't know why I put her, like, you know, we could fill all this, it doesn't matter. I don't think it matters how you lay them out, like which spots you give them. Uh, let's get a couple of doctors. Let's at least do two. Acute medicine, anesthesiology. Michael Scott. <laughs> I'm wondering about this name. I don't want a Michael Scott running around saying weird things, but let's hire him anyway. Diagnosis 54. Richard Wright is all around a, a good... He's a fellow. I guess that's why he's so expensive. Let's pay to hire... Let's see his hidden perks. He is. Practical... 20% bonus. And he's a bit late sometimes. Gives nice staff bonus. And he's an early bird. I don't know. Let's hire Richard. We like Richard. All right. Let's get ourselves a night person. And I'm just going to stack them on this desk. Actually, I kind of want to move these over here so they're not using the laptops. Is that weird? Anyway, it's too late now. Who cares? <laughs> All right, let's find ourselves like a... Do we have any night owl ones? No. Acute medicine. 40, 49%. Whoa, she's 71, though. General medicine, 97. Acute medicine. She is so advanced, but 71. She's like a 1,000 years old. She's a good boss, though. So she could be, you know, a good boss. And this person's a bit of a drunk. Come on, let's give Patricia a chance. Objective for insurance company has complete, been completed. Enable hospitalization. Re reward intensive care unit. So now it's on. Now, folks, the problem is going to be they're going to bring people here who are... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. That was just because the game was paused. Okay. <laughs> we need to get some more decorations out here, uh, but I really want to run this scenario for a bit. We're going to do that in the next episode. We're just going to fill this in with a bit of garbage. We're going to work on our uh, common room, which is a little bit uh, dumpy looking right now. Uh, but it's nice. There's like some sofas. That's kind of nice. I kind of want to put a dining room here where they can eat and put a little kitchen in the area. 
but I think the main thing I wanted to do was get this thing running and see uh, what's next. So I think, am I not allowed to load in another one? And also, can't I like buy an ambulance now? I really want an ambulance so I can start bringing in some, some, some rough customers, quite literally. Okay, am I allowed? It hasn't been unlocked yet. Okay. Enable hospital, I bet if I enable hospitalization at intensive care, that then I'm going to be able to, uh, I'm gonna be able to buy a hospital. Okay, wait, hang on. We already have somebody at the ICU. Kate Foster, hospitalized, transported to examination. We are urgent echo. Okay, we're taking her in here to do an urgent echo, echoeogram. Oh my goodness, things are not going well for her. What does she have? She might have lupus. <gasps> Classic Dr. House thing. Okay, all right, Kate, don't worry. You're in good hands. Michael Scott, oh no, you're screwed. <laughs> He's gonna kill you. All right, one hidden symptom, and this is hopefully gonna help us figure out what's going on here. She's got breathing problems, fatigue, chest pain, dizziness. Oh my goodness. Come on, Michael, perform the emergency echo. What is emergency echo? Special critical care. Uh, echocardiography used mainly in intensive care units or trauma centers. If the heart is pumping properly, oh my goodness, her heart might not be pumping. Okay. Michael Scott, did you, have you performed it? Have you finished your performance? Um, that speed up time a bit. It didn't reveal the symptom. So we're gonna test her urine. Okay. Kate, we're gonna keep an eye on you. We're gonna keep an eye on you. You are our first ICU patient. And you're gonna pay us zero dollars. Oh my goodness. Man, that bathroom is being used though, eh? This bathroom is like the most popular bathroom I've ever built in my entire life. All right, Kate Foster is going in for her examination. Oh, I lost her. Where did she go? I know she was doing this. Oh no, they're bringing the bed back. Where's Kate Foster? <laughs> I should have pinned her so I could watch it. Susan, Jane. There she is, Kate Foster. Okay, where is Kate Foster? Oh, I see, she's getting an angiography. Come on. Oh, we figured it out. It's a mitral valve prolapse. Observation, and she's gonna need, oh no. Okay, unfortunately, to fix this mitral valve prolapse, uh, oh, anticoagulants. Not available, can't be prescribed at this department. Drugs prevent room, ICU, okay, yeah. Because of Kate Foster here, we have 158,000 doubloons. But I think what this means, if we want Kate Foster sur to survive, we need an ICU unit and stat. So we have our emergency, but if we don't want her to collapse and have to send her away to another hospital, we're gonna need the ICU. So I think that's coming up in the next episode of Solid Hospital, Our Lady of Solids. Now, how do I, where I go and figure out, here we go, add a new floor. Copy tiles from the top floor, copy walls from the top floor, or build a new floor. Interesting. Well, I certainly want to, we'll see how expensive it is. This might take all of our money if we copy all the tiles and the walls. Uh, so if I turn that off and just build a new floor, what does that do? Achievement unlocked, going up. There we are, there's our new floor. So we need to get an ICU ward built stat uh, for to handle the influx of folks that we're gonna have coming into this hospital. In fact, we have another one here and he needs ICU hospitalization. Yeah, if we don't get ICU hospitalization up and running soon, we are gonna have, we're gonna have to get pathology up and running soon because we're gonna have a whole bunch of dead patients. So I hope you enjoyed this episode very much. A very intense episode. And coming up in the next episode of Project Hospital, the ICU on the second floor, probably all of this <laughs> opens for business. Thanks for watching. Do 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 do